Okay, 944 guys. Um, Tim Camo creating a video here to make things easier for adjusting a late model, not early, late model sunroof system in the back of the car. Um, the reason I'm doing this is because it was uh, the instructions I found online and even in the factory manual were just woefully inadequate or just wrong. Um, so this is for a late model car, not early. The problem we had was these micro switches had come loose. This bottom nut right here had backed out and allowed it to flop so the uh, sunroof system could not tell that it was all the way closed and it stripped the gears on the thing. We put a new gear in there and found out that the clutch also needed adjusting so it stripped another gear that we put in. When you pull the retracting arms into the chassis of the car, it relies on slipping inside this clutch to uh, keep the gears from stripping. So um, let's uh, show you how to do that stuff. The books say you, you know, pop this cap off and uh, turn set this the torque on the 21 millimeter socket right here. That's completely wrong. That that's a one to one connection with the drive cable that pays out, acts like a worm gear. So it's it's always going to be one to one. It's never going to slip. That's how you manually lift and lower the sunroof. Um, so what you do is set the sunroof uh, halfway open so you can see action either way, and then pop this uh, cap off. This guy right here. Um, the tools that I used per uh, somebody else's help were uh, a setup like this. This is a four drive ratchet with about a four inch extension. And then you can see a 13, uh, 13 uh, socket here on the end. So I'm going right through right through the, uh, the setup just like that. And then this guy goes on here. So you, you can use a 21 or a 22 millimeter on, on that. Uh, and then drop that 13 on, boom, and you can, you can, you can set your clutch just like that, going through it. You got to hold that 22, okay? Uh, to make it easier on you, uh, find a way, however you can, to to get that 13 millimeter lock nut off the top. Uh, you can you can grind another cheap wrench if you want, uh, make it thinner, because it's tough to get two wrenches on there. You can use needle nose, whatever you need to do to get that top 13 lock nut loose to get it done and then it's easier instead of trying to line up the socket on both nuts just remove the top nut altogether do not forget to put uh, loctite on there just a semi permanent thread lock or blue loctite on there when you put that back in so what i did was i used that 13 socket on there and uh held the 22 and just get that that 13 loose enough just keep going and, until the motor slips okay we did that by uh, simulating a load on the sunroof system by just clamping on this uh, the lift cable. So you can see when it comes to uh, the, the end here, so you can see it moving, paying in. When it gets to the end, the motor's still running, you can hear it, but the clutch is slipping. Yeah, You can reverse polarity, which is what your rocker switch does up in the cockpit by the shifter and pay it out again, all right? So if you set your sunroof in ha halfway open, then whichever way you rock it, you can see if the motor's uh, clutching or not clutching. So we're gonna set it like that, boom. It's slipping uh, right now. So then I would go and slowly start tightening this thing back up uh, until you get some action out of the sunroof. I put a yellow paint mark on there to in just to index where I started, just to show me how much I moved. So we start tightening this 13 down more and more and more until you get action out of the, uh, the cable and the sunroof starts lifting or, or lowering either way. Once you have that, it should be enough friction in the clutch to work the sunroof, but it'll be uh, uh, um, uh, enough slippage so that when you retract the lifting arms into the body, it'll, it'll just slip the clutch instead of stripping uh, your gears. Because we found we replaced the... Uh, Reposition the switches here. They were working and then put the new gears in and tried it out and it stripped the uh, gears again because the clutch was not set right. So um, Just make sure when you put this guy back in after you've locked down uh, where you want it doesn't take that much either uh, To make the, to make it work not that much grip put that back on with Loctite and then seal your car back up That should be it